Today in this episode you will learn how to make IoT based RFID smart door lock system using Node MCU ESP8266 development board RFID MFRC522 module the servo motor and the blink application With the help of this project you can remotely monitor your door lock from anywhere in the world using your smartphone Talking about the app part here i have added two tabs one is for monitoring each time user swipes a card a message is received and the other tab is used for remote access control as you can see all the buttons are turned on which means i have given access to all the users if the buttons are turned off then the users won't be able to open the door lock The project also has two LEDs. Red one blink when there is unauthorized access to the smart door lock system and green one blink when the access is granted to the users. I have also added a buzzer so that it produces different sound when you have access granted and access denied. It. In order to open the door lock, the permission should be granted by the admin. Now let us look by granting the access control to the iot project as you can see only the iot projects can unlock the door lock we have also added integrated ota blink credential this is the features by which you can enter the wi-fi name password and the blink authentication token wirelessly using your web browser now you can enter this credential wirelessly and change it whenever you want without reprogramming the ESP board isn't it interesting so the next important thing is I have added separate button called erasing button which will be used to erase the Wi-Fi credential stored in the ESP board intentionally sometimes a condition may evolve in your project that you should intentionally erase the Wi-Fi credential and authentication token which is inside the ESP board EEP room. So in that case I have added a separate button in which you have to press and hold that button to erase the credential in it and you can enter the new credential ok. So I will let you know about these features later in the coding section. So, in this project, you will cover the MFRC, RFID, module technical specification and pinouts. Uh, likewise, a complete circuit diagram explanation will be there and the programming node MCU ESP8266 board. So, without doing any delay, let's get started with this project. The components and tools used in this project are easily available in the market. As you can see, this is the MFRC RFID module. It is highly integrated reader or a writer IC for contactless communication. The servo motor works on the PWM pulse wide modulation principle, which means its angle of rotation is controlled by the duration of pulse applied to its signal pin or a pulse pin. Basically, servo motor is made up of DC motor which is connected by a variable resistor known as potentiometer and some gears. You can see the circuit diagram is very simple. Let us start with the RFID module. As you can see, STA pin is connected to the D2 pin of node MCU, SCK to the D5 pin, MOSI to the D7 pin, MISO to the D6 pin, IRQ pin is not connected, GND to the GND pin, Similarly, RST pin to the D1 pin of uh, node MCU and finally 3.3 volt to the 3.3 volt pin. Now let's see the servo part. Red wire is connected to 3.3 volt. Black wire is connected to GND. And yellow or orange pin is connected to D4 pin. Similarly, we have a piezo buzzer. The negative pin is connected to the ground and positive pin to the D8 pin of node MCU. Now red LED and green 
LED both negative pin is grounded and positive pin of red LED is connected to ST3 pin. Similarly, green LED positive pin is connected with ST2 pin. Again, we have added a erasing button. So, one pin of the erasing button is connected to the D3 pin of node MCU and other to the GND through 220 ohm resistor. So, that's all about the circuit diagram. Now let's get started with the Blink application configuration. Follow the same exact step to configure the Blink application. Open the app and create a new project with the name IoT RFID. Click on the select device and select the node MCU board. Select the connection type to the Wi-Fi. Finally, click on the create button and authentication token will be sent to your email address which we will need later in the programming section. Now click on the screen and search for the tabs and add a two tabs with the name live monitoring and remote access control. Click on the live monitoring tab and tap on anywhere in the blank space and add the terminal widget. Set the terminal widget virtual pin to B2 and set the new line to the S. Now select the remote access control tab, click on the screen and add three buttons. Click on the first button, select the name, set the virtual pin to the B3 pin and button mode as a switch. You can also set the fonts as per your requirements. Similarly, click on the second button, select the name, select the virtual pin B4 and set the button mode as switch. Finally, do same for the third button and set the virtual pin to the B5. In the project, I have added three users, the IoT projects, Elson Parajuli and Sophia. So now let's see the programming. First of all, make sure that you have downloaded all the necessary libraries. So first of all, I started by including the libraries needed for the RFID and IoT based remote access door lock system. The next thing is this program is compatible with both ESP32 and ESP8266 board. Here I have applied the condition to use the specific library for a specific ESP board. Now you will need more library files mentioned here. The ESP async web server, web socket server and Arduino JSON. Go to the sketch menu, go to include library, manage libraries and search for the libraries that you want to install. For erasing Wi-Fi and authentication credential, I have added a erasing button to the D3 that is GPIO 0 pin of the ESP board. You can see the depth of this project from the OTA Blink credential TPP file that is C++. So this is the actual code that works behind this project. Now using this code, you can make your ESP board as access point to receive the necessary credential from the user using WebSocket server. Define the SS pin and RST pin of RFID. Define green and red LED pin. Define the buzzer pin. Using this code, we create RFID instance. My servo is defined as my servo name. So, I defined a timer here. 
f flag e flag j flag these are the variables type of integer all the flags are assigned to zero which that by the default the users have no access so the flag value can be zero and one inside the void setup serial communication is activated at 11.5200 baud rate for debugging purpose pin mode is used for reading the button as input now here is the logic when the button is pressed for 4 seconds it will call a credential dot erase underscore e to rom function so else it will read the ssid password and authentication token from previously saved e to e rom spi bus is initiated RFID MFRC 522 reader is also initiated. Define the servo attached to the pulse pin D4 that is GPIO pin 2. LEDs and buzzer are used as output. IoT underscore RFID is user defined function which is executed after every one second using this timer set interval function. In the loop section, timer.run and blink.run function is initiated. Now in the void IoT RFID user defined function, we read the RFID card, select the card and print the UID on the serial monitor. Now the main logic behind the project is here. If the RFID identification matches the provided number and the flag value is 1, it will send a message to the serial monitor and blink virtual terminal for live monitoring with a delay of 500 milliseconds. The green LED is turned on and the buzzer will sound a beep sound and the servo turns to 180 degree. This will open your door and the door will be locked after 3 seconds. You can change the value according to your requirements. For now, I am using the delay of 3000 milliseconds, means it's 3 seconds. Similarly, the condition is applied to two more cards. You can add as many cards as you want using this if else statement. Now, if either of the condition is false, then the else statement is executed and print the message to the serial monitor and blink virtual terminal that the user is denied and the red LED will be turned on the buzzer tone will be executed as a warning every RFID card has different identification number so to find your card UID number I will provide you a separate program that will print your UID on a serial monitor and then just Note them somewhere in the notepad to use them later in the sketch. These three functions are used to send the values 0 and 1 using the buttons through the virtual pins B3, B4 and B5. These variables are stored in the F flag, E flag and J flag. Depending upon the value stored and the access is given to the users, 0 means no access and 1 means giving access to the person. So the video has already gone longer without explaining these two header files. Let's choose the ESP board and port and then upload the program sketch. After successfully uploading the code, open the serial monitor to see the project into the action. Now AP mode is activated in the ESP board. Connect to the AP from the Wi-Fi settings and go to the browser and type your IP address. 192.168.4.1 Now you will see the field name, SSID, password and authentication token. 
just enter your credentials and then click on the submit now you will see a message that credential is received by es keyboard now the ap mode is turned off and node mc will be connected to your wi-fi network now simply open the blink app and you will see the device is online now you can turn on or off the users from anywhere in the world and monitor them if there is any unauthorized person trying to access the door lock or not so let's have a look at this demo So this was the tutorial for today. I hope you have enjoyed watching this awesome IoT project. Please subscribe to this channel for more amazing.